What exactly are the 3D Experience Works apps and roles? Uh, might be a little confusing, but we'll get some clarity. Let's talk about that next. All right, so let's talk about 3D Experience Works and what it means, how it's organized, how what people are gonna be using uh, and get a little clarity on that. So first off, uh, how is it organized and what is it? So 3D Experience Works is a set of solutions for basically the SMB space. Uh, it's really meant to support uh, the existing user base of SOLIDWORKS, the people that are using SOLIDWORKS today. Uh, and it sits on the 3D Experience platform. So if you're not familiar with the 3D Experience platform, it is the cloud and browser-based expansive solution that Dassault Systems uh, offers uh, that covers a lot of areas, uh, not just design and development, but it goes much further downstream as well. Um, now, if you look at the platform today, it is actually organized with roles and apps. So basically roles are a group of different apps. And you can think of apps as discrete sets of functionality or capabilities, right? So, you know, creating 3D models or running a structural analysis might be one app. But frankly, to do a job, let's say like uh, to design in 3D, develop designs for products in 3D, you don't just need 3D modeling, for example, you also need uh, data management. You also need some collaboration capabilities. So those in the 3D Experience platform are three separate apps. Dassault Systems has grouped those three apps together into a single role. For example, for 3D Experience Works, uh, that would be uh, 3D Creator, essentially is you know a designer creating geometry and managing it, maybe collaborating with others. Uh, another role uh, would be 3D Sculptor, uh, and that is building organic shapes, kind of this aesthetic design uh, where you can push and pull on geometry. But what's interesting about that the thing that's different is working on different types of geometry. You still need to be able to manage versions. You still need to be able to collaborate with others. So in that case, two of those apps are actually reused in a different role, right? So this is, that's part of the idea here. I know that a lot of people, when you think of an app, it's something you install on your phone uh, and you open it and you use it and that's it. It's kind of, isolated, it's kind of siloed by itself, but this context is a little bit different. Apps on the 3D Experience platform are discrete sets of functionality that many different roles might use, and roles are conglomerations of multiple apps, okay? Another example is uh, the structural performance engineer, professional engineer. Uh, that allows them to run and execute and set up structural analyses. And again, you see some overlap with that as well. So, um, so that's the idea with roles and apps. Now let's zoom out for a little bit. Um, if you're using SOLIDWORKS CAD as a desktop application, um, you can uh, exchange models and information with the 3D Experience platform. The, they're designing interoperability uh, into both ends of it, right? So you can take a model into 3D Sculptor, you can take it into 3D Creator, you can take it into the Structural uh, Professional Engineer, apps, I'm sorry, roles, um, and kind of go back and forth, right? That's good. The, the other kind of perspective on this is um, there seems to be a convergence, right, of SOLIDWORKS and the 3D Experience platform. Uh, and that's a good thing. You know, if I was a customer and I was paying a company um, X amount of money in a subscription or with maintenance, frankly, I, 
I wouldn't want them working on two completely separate platforms or multiple different applications that really did not work together. Um, I would want them working on net new functionality that will help me not duplicating functionality in lots of different places. So I think, you know, when SolidWorks users and companies using a lot of SolidWorks, when you think about the 3D experience platform and you're seeing some of these changes, right? I think ultimately, you know, think about it in terms of you want to get net new functionality, you want to get new capabilities, and you want to see that in a place that's going to have uh, long-term viability. And the 3D Experience platform, <clears throat> based on everything that Dassault Systems has talked about, that is the platform of the future. And, you know, if you look at cloud platforms, you look at browser access, you look at collaboration, just fundamentally, if you, if you look at fileless uh, design and product development, there are just some fundamental advantages of working in the cloud over working on a desktop. So uh, that's kind of the big picture here. You are gonna see a convergence of that over time. Um, and frankly, if it was me, I would want that. That's it. Take care and talk soon.